Good morning. Today is August 10th, 2012. I just woke up. See? I got my top down, my sleeping bag. Let me show you. Hey, how y'all doing? Isn't this a great, beautiful day out here? That's right. That's what it looks like to live in the bushes. Got bird right here. You can't tell me this isn't beautiful. I love it. I was speaking to a friend of mine, an evangelist, and um, she was telling me, you like living on the beach. I ain't got no choice. Plus, I, this is what I used to do in the military for most of my first tour. United States Army, Special Forces, Airborne Range. How you doing? Good morning. Wow. Today's August 10th. I got to call the TV studio and put the Mother's Day documentary up for September and October. We're going to go to lies, 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 and the pretty elected officials, I tell them. I tell you, what a life, huh? And you people think it's cute. That made me homeless. Well, I'm fully submitted. And all the technology, technicalities and all that stuff. I ain't worried about that. Look at my ashtray. How we doing? Let's get up, huh? Uh, how about sleeping bag? Let me show you what it looks like. See? Uh, there's a boat, boat crossing the channel right here. This is how I live. This is where I live. This is home. And this is what home looks like. Good morning. My name is Dr. Philip Trice. And I am homeless. You guys in the court of Judge Phyllis Flew, how are you doing? The court officer and the clerk, the nice clerk that went and found my stuff. Yep, this is what it is. But I want to talk about the beauty of this day, the cloud formation. Nice breeze. I'm happy. Now it's time to get into town at 7 o'clock in the morning. This is the latest I've ever slept out here, but I'm in no big hurry. I can take it easy. <laughs> Next Tuesday, I can start getting into this job of going from homeless to real estate agent. And my job is to make a lot of money selling real estate, renting houses, and whatever it is. This is the life, people. I'm not angry anymore. This is the life, man. I ain't got nothing to say. my life. It's the only way I can actually live in order to beat these guys and be able to prove 
that I'm a super guy, man. I'm a wonderful guy, man. Ain't nothing wrong with me. I've never been crazy, never been incapacitated, never anything. I get a chance to make a presentation before Justice Phyllis Flew, Charles Carey, Mr. Siddiqui, Mr. Grande, and Mr. Niederhofer, before attorneys rep representing the federal government, the city government, the state elected officials, and Donnie Fury. I'm going to whoop your behinds, and I'm going to whoop your behinds real good. And I want to make sure you know who's telling it to you. And you're going to be there to watch me do it to you. <laughs> you still think it's funny making me homeless. You still think it's funny making me homeless. Somebody's going to have to call. Marshall Edward Guider. And ask him if, in fact, the mayor sent me his regards. That's some pretty big stuff for the mayor of New York to send you his regards by the marshal that's evicting you. That is the sickest shit in all the freaking world for the mayor of New York to want to see somebody put out in the freaking street and be homeless and as productive and as great as much of a wonderful guy that I am that you want to see me destroyed. I must have really Pissed you off, Mayor of Lumber. Because <laughs> I branded your ass at 12-23-1956. That's from the governor on down. I have branded the city of New York, the state of New York, the federal government, including the Obama administration. You guys can't be that freaking stupid going after one guy. Remember? I was trained for this shit. United States Army Special Forces, 1st Battalion, 75th Infantry Headquarters, Headquarters Company, Military Occupational Skills, and Cook. Well, we aren't going infantry. Let's go to work. You guys have a nice day. Enjoy the day with me, will you? Look at this. Look at that. Okay, bye-bye. Hi, Dwayne. This is Phil Dreis, and um, I just wanted to speak to you because I wanted to confirm that uh, about that letter from Anne. I have a copy. I have a copy of the letter from Anne that sent me to the VA to sent me to the hospital on some kind of psychiatric emergency. Number two, in our last conversation, you told me that someone from the VA called you and told you that I no longer wanted to be at uh, Safe Haven at Cromwell and 170th Street. Um, I don't know how any confidential information um, on a psych ward gets to a vendor. That's number two. Number three is that I've suffered losses here. I was made homeless. I had to end up on the beach. I almost died out there if I'd have stayed there. And I lost the dental benefits and all that stuff. So what I'm looking to do is to figure out how you and your organization plan to uh, fix that problem that I've got, which I'm owed. Um, my entitlements, my name's been defamed. Um, people have been writing up stuff about me. They got me under some kind of diagnosis, prescribed me some... Well, you need a little bit of dip -tuk. So all this kind of nonsense. So I'd like to figure out what your organization plans to do on remunerating me financially in some kind of way to fix your problem. This is your problem. You're the head man. And um, I'm coming to you. So please give me a call back. My number is 347 
685-2860. Okay? Because you know what I do, brother. I take people to court and I just bust their ass. Um, we don't, we're not, are we there yet? We're not there yet, right? Okay. So please give me a call and let me know how you want to fix it. I need my dental work done. I need my hood vag voucher on the fast track. Um, I need that, um, that place on, uh, on down to, uh, uptown Manhattan that Ann and I talked about. Everything that I was supposed to get, I'm supposed to get it. Because, you know, good and darn well, Charmaine McPherson has been used. You know, you guys, it's good for you guys to go ahead and have somebody from the VA come and tame these vets for you, these homeless vets that are a bunch of wild men. The VA loves Charmaine McPherson putting a Willie Lynch chip in Negroes and scaring the hell out of them and holding their benefits, their entitlement, as some kind of charity in order to tame them Negro. That's racist, my friend. You some kind of Hispanic. I'm a Haitian. Look, man, it doesn't look good. It doesn't look good, but I'm willing to work with you, okay? So, um, whatever we can work out, hopefully, it'll be sufficient because I'm not living in homelessness no more. I got to finish this book and I want you to fix this because I will sell your ass down the river. I will sell your ass down the river like I did Mayor Bloomberg, the congressman, and everybody else. So please, give me a call. Let's fix this. Okay, my friend? This is my olive branch. I'm extending out to you not to take you to court and just bust your ass along with the Veterans Administration Hospital. I swear on my mother's grave. I will take you out to court and just bust your asses. Okay? I spoke to Dr. Julia yesterday. And everybody seemed to be scared. I've already filed a complaint with the Veterans Administration Inspector General, and I will prepare something for the White House. And I will fuck everybody over. I will fuck everybody over for what you have done to me. And you all deserve it. But I'm going to give you a chance to go ahead and fix it. Okay, Dr. Wayne? I thank you, my friend.